Today we're going to talk about how to use technology to prepare for a presentation. In the past, experts suggested that you prepare for a presentation by watching yourself in the mirror. This is great, but there is a problem with it. When you're preparing with a mirror, you're either busy focusing on your presentation or you're focusing on watching yourself. This makes it difficult to really get a handle on if you're doing a good job or not. The thing to remember, though, is that we live in the future. We have technology that we can use to practice our presentations. There are many different tools we can use to record ourselves and assess the quality of our presentation. For this training video, we're going to focus on Adobe Audition. Audition is an audio editing tool from Adobe and it's a really great way to sort of listen through, click different parts of your presentation and find places where you can improve it and make yourself sound better. In a little bit, I'm going to talk about how to record yourself, but right now I'm going to talk about what you need to listen for. The first thing you're going to want to listen for is when you sound like you're reading from a script. I have been on many search committees and I've listened to many presentations and the worst thing that you can do, well, probably not the worst thing, but one of the worst things you can do is sound like you are reading off a script and that you are a robot. If you're noticing this about yourself, try to practice sounding natural. Just let yourself go and get into a rhythm and a flow with the way you speak. The uh, next thing um, to uh, listen for is um, us and ums. When working at a, another institution, I had a coworker who we would listen to her presentations and uh, another coworker and I counted, I believe, 56 ums in a five minute presentation. Be sure to take note of this. If you find this to be a problem in your speaking, try to be aware of it, think about it, and give yourselves pauses as you speak. You don't have to say um, just pause, collect your thought, and continue on. It sounds like you're being considerate rather than being uh. I help a lot of people with video and audio and something I hear all the time is, oh, I hate the sound of my voice. And guess what? I'm right there with those people. I used to hate the sound of my voice. I grew up in Tennessee and I had a very thick accent. So I started to use these techniques I'm talking about today to remove my accent so I could sound like I'm from anywhere. Now that being said, there is nothing wrong with an accent. If you have an accent, that's totally fine. But the reason I bring it up is if you are unhappy with your voice when you record it, make an effort to change how you sound. Again, you should definitely be yourself, but if it's something that you can improve, that you aren't happy with, take the time to work on it. Speaking of working on it, let's start working in Audition. So you can download Audition from Adobe.com, you can log in with your UTSA email, username, and passphrase, and download it to your computer and then jump right into Audition. After downloading Audition, open it up and this is what you'll see. To begin recording yourself, select the red button near the bottom middle of the screen. Give your project a name, and the settings by default should be fine, so select OK. Record yourself saying a few lines, and then press Stop. Move the playhead back to the start of the recording, and push play to check your levels. You may need to adjust the position of your microphone based on volume level. You can move it closer if you're too quiet, or further away if you're too loud. When everything is ready, push the record button again. You may want to do this test a few times before you move on and do your full recording. Now there are a few things you can do. If you want to record your whole presentation and listen for mistakes first, just record everything, push the stop button when you're finished, and then listen to your playback. You can also practice saying each line in different ways and then cut out what you don't like. The choice is yours. Getting rid of mistakes is quite easy to do. All you need to do is click and drag the white highlight over the area you wish to remove. 
Once it's selected, press the delete key. Once you're finished with everything, select File, then Save to save your file. There are many choices for quality and compression when it comes to saving audio files. Typically, if I'm using the audio file in a bigger presentation and I want to have great quality, I will use a .wav, and if I'm sharing it online, I'm going to save it as a .mp3. The WAV file will have a larger file size, but sound better. The MP3 will be more compressed. The loss of quality isn't highly noticeable, but is something to be aware of. Once you make your selection, select OK.